Like Nicki Minaj is pro women, pro this, pro that, but I'm like, come on, Nicki, I'm I'm not young and dumb anymore. Oh, this is so stupid. Running away, Nicki, you need to dump Kenneth Petty today, cause he is about to ruin your career with this drama, baby. What's up, y'all? It's your girl. Welcome to China and welcome to my channel. And y'all, my queen Nicki Minaj is upsetting me. I might not have to be a Barbie anymore if Nicki don't leave this man. Let's get into it. If you guys have not known, Nicki Minaj's husband allegedly, or he's been convicted of a being a artist. Um, his alleged victim, who we know is really his victim, but allegedly, because we're going to say, Jennifer has came out to speak, and she's saying that they have been using intimidation tactics, threatening her, and offering her a measly $20,000 to keep her mouth shut, and Jennifer's saying she ain't having it no more, mother suckers. Let's get into it. So Jennifer did a, you know, an expose basically with the Daily Beast that just came out. And the Daily Beast really sets it up for us and really sets the stage. So shout out to them because they kind of start to debunk all of the lies that Nikki allegedly has started to tell about this woman from the beginning. So they start off and say, when you're somebody's wife, you gotta be more prayed up. Nikki Minaj told her audience in a 2019 episode of Apple Music Queen Radio. So this last year, when she had to address it, she said that you gotta stay prayed up. But also she said that she found out her husband can go to jail in 90 days if, you know, the case isn't cleared up because they have some drama going on. But she said, but white is right. The lady's not white though, Nikki. And let's get into it. So what they already started with was, but Petty's victim, who has come forward by only using her name Jennifer, is not white, her mother is white, and her father are black. Both she and Petty were 16 year old at the time of the assault. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down the assault for you guys. If you guys have never watched Nosy Ho Live, this is a wonderful vlogger, YouTuber on here. She did a whole YouTube Live two months ago with this woman, his alleged victim, Jennifer. So check that out, because they're already talking about this on the Daily Beast, if you wanna hear it in your own words. But what had happened was, Jennifer was walking down the street, Kenneth Zoo Petty, all we already know was a thug, he was a gangster down in New York. He walked up to her, he flashed his gun, he forced her to walk into the house with him, and I remember her saying verbatim, she remembers smelling the cigarettes on his breath. And as he was assaulting her, he was smoking, she smelled the cigarettes, she didn't smoke, and then she had walked back to school, and she told someone immediately, she told her school nurse immediately as soon as she got to school. And it was to the point where Kenneth Petty's parents were getting involved. They were trying to have her retracted back then. They lied and said that she was his girlfriend, was never his girlfriend, and she has said that verbatim. Verbatim. But all of this is really coming up because now the lady has had enough. She said, hell, I have four kids. I've lived a life for 20 years. Nikki wanted us to, you know, drop this and for me to lie and say I was lying to clear her husband's name. But honestly, Nikki, you shouldn't have married someone of this stature. It is so disappointing that my queen, Nikki Minaj, a woman who I love, I love her so much. Look up to her. You marry a bum like this. It just hurts my soul. But anyway, I want to show y'all this video that Nosy Ho Live did. And I want you guys to get a synopsis of her saying this very clearly that she did not have anything to do with this man besides him assaulting her. I'm, I'm, I'm saying to the camera that me and Kenneth Petty was never in a relationship. Nicki Minaj, you lied on your Instagram and you lied on Queen Radio about me. Those comments that you made about me were both face lies. I don't know who so told you that. So as you can that, see here, that's what I was saying. Repeated. She did a whole expose months ago with the Jennifer woman and she wasn't really showing her face. It was kind of in the dark. You could kind of see her, kind of couldn't. You know, people were saying, is it for cloud, whatever. But I just feel like I cannot imagine if my ex or the person who touched me or anybody was dating Nicki Minaj and they started threatening me with only $20,000 allegedly. It should be two hundred. 20,000, 20 million, honestly, if you want me to be quiet, because people still speak up for millions last time I checked. But anyway, you see, she, I believe that. 100%, y'all, unsubscribe, don't like me. I believe that. I believe this woman. I 100% believe her. He was already convicted. So why are we dropping it? Why do we want to recant? Even when she was 16, she didn't want to recant. And that's why it's upsetting. It's like, Nicki Minaj is pro women, pro this, pro that. But I'm like, come on, Nicki, I'm, I'm not young and dumb anymore. This is so stupid.
your career is about to be over because of this. He will drain all of your money because of this. Now listen to this. Jennifer also says that she has been in contact with the U.S. Marshals who have recently told that an investigation of the Petties is underway and they have found evidence. They have found evidence against her threatening this lady. Kenneth Zoo Monkey Petty and Nicki Minaj. Come on. Come on. Nicki. Why you gotta do this to me? Oh, Barbie D. Oh, Barbie D. Everybody now, Nicki. <sighs> And it said that authorities called this investigation a high priority case. Jennifer goes on to say that she's hoping the truth will come out and whatever comes from the truth to let it be. For a while she has tried avoiding and implicating people, but now everything that has happened, it's like these people are willing to sacrifice me so this guy can remain in the public eye. I feel like my family was willing to sacrifice me. And that's enough, and that's that on that. I don't feel like it's anything else she had to say. He was convicted of this. So y'all can't say allegedly, you can't say for clout, whatever. Nikki and Kenneth Petty were the ones that wanted to start to clear this up because of the media and everybody found out. This lady would have continued to be who she was. Case, let the case be the case. Kenneth Zoo would have been finessing whomever. And it would have been over with. But do you guys remember? I think it was a lady, it, they were calling her like this light-skinned lady. This was like back, 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 maybe a couple years ago when Nikki and Zoo first got together. She said a lady came in, a lady, came, excuse me, a man came in, a mob, gangsters, whatever, hustlers, drug dealers came in and beat her down. Almost took her life. And this was the ex-girlfriend of Kenneth Zoo Petty. And guess what? She wanted to speak out against them. Nicki Minaj has the, has the protection of goons, mobs, gangsters, whatever. Even though she's from New York, Nicki Minaj has been out of touch with the streets for years. So he really brings the streets to it. And I'm sure she felt alone. Nicki Minaj obviously felt alone. She got a gangsta on her hands. He's the one, I need a gangsta. <laughs> Who remember that song by Kalani? Y'all get what I'm saying. He was an opportunist in Nicki Minaj. If you ever see this, I have listened to you ever since. I get crazy. I, I get crazy. I get crazy. I, I beat me up, Scotty. I keep the kill the mother DJ. If you're a Nicki Minaj fan, go ahead and comment your favorite Nicki Minaj song. God, don't be scared. We not gonna cancel the queen. We not gonna cancel her, but we gonna give her some time to answer us and let us know what the is going on here, Nicki. I need to know now as a fan. Barbie dreams? <laughs> I don't know. We about to have some nightmares in this mug. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm rambling on. It is Welcome to China. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 700 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys later. Let me know what you think about this. And bye-bye.